the Hawaiian Islands, the birthplace and mecca of surfing. Today, Haleiwa, an unassuming town on the north shore of Oahu, is the centerpiece for some of surfing's proving grounds, such as Waimea Bay and the Bonsai Pipeline. But the North Shore wasn't always the home of surfing in Hawaii. For many years, the sport of kings was centered at the now crowded surf breaks of Waikiki. It was on these breaks that Duke Paoa Kanomoku perfected his skills as a surfer. The former Olympic gold medalist is credited with introducing surfing to the rest of the Western world. Nearly a century later, surfing is taking place in spots the Duke could have never dreamed of. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the gent, and this is Surfing Across Canada. Tofino, British Columbia, Surf City, Canada. This small town and the surrounding beaches have become the headquarters for surfing in Canada. The many surf shops and kilometers of beach breaks make Tofino the ideal place for the beginner surfer. Before hitting the water, our friends John, Lisa and Catherine get used to their surfboards. boy, John. Paddle hard, Catherine, you've almost got it. Nice work. Yes, this is a great place to learn, but it's not just the beginners that hang with their surfboards on these beaches.